All right, welcome back, everybody. So traveling during the holiday season, it is stressful enough, right? But keeping your skin clear and feeling beautiful, looking your best, can be tricky during this time. Did you know, and perhaps you don't know, because I just learned this, that when you travel, like when you jump on a plane, that actually plays a trick on our skin. Perhaps that's not why we look our best sometimes when you get off the plane and you get to your hotel room. Anyway, we have Dr. Melanie Palm here. She is the uh, founding director of Art of San Diego, or the director of Art of Skin MD is what it's called. <laughs> Dr. Perfect. Melanie, thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. It's true. I always wondered. I was just telling you. No joke. When I travel, whenever I do fly and I get to my location, my destination, mm -hmm. I look in the mirror and I'm like, what happened? Like, why do I not look good? And there's several things that are happening. You're a higher altitude. You get colder temperatures. The moisture in sort of the circulated cabin air gets a lot lower. And then there's pressure changes that actually occur. So we wanted to give our people out there some mm -hmm. real travel tips about how to protect your skin while you're traveling traveling during the holidays. Something actually does happen. So where do we start? Well, step number one is you bring a humidifier on the plane. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't think it would fly. No. So, you know, pre-game a little bit if, you, okay, if so you're beforehand. prone to dryness. And you may even ask at hotels or if you're staying with relatives, see if they have one. Ooh, one of the yeah. big things, and this is common sense, is really stay hydrated on the mm -hmm. plane. Alcohol is not a great idea because that's going to dehydrate right. you. But make sure that you're drinking, you know, a lots and lots of water during the flight and afterwards because you really um, get decompensated. So I know about the staying hydrated yeah. and how good that is for your skin, but going back to the um, the humidifier, uh -huh. so you're saying to put this like by your net nightstand and yeah, just turn it on bedroom. at night? Yeah, and you know, you can get a nice easy one just uh -huh. over the counter, you know, from your grocery store. See, I do that for my from, kids mm -hmm. for respiratory thing. I never think of doing that for myself. Yeah, and now easy, we're in easy. winter temperatures, so think about it. We just got a yeah. little cold spell Absolutely. now. The other thing that I carry with me, and this is completely with that three ounce rule is I bring these little aerosolized sort of water and this is actually a water from a vent it's French it's actually got minerals and it calms inflammation but if you do that you want to make sure you seal it in either with something with hyaluronic acid or this is great either you can use aquaphor Vaseline or CeraVe now has a healing ointment uh -huh. and I tell patients put this in your mucous membranes it sounds a little funny but when our mucous membranes get dry when we touch our face that's when viral particles invade and that's how we get sick on that's planes. That's how we get sick that and the, the, the spray here, the mist, mm -hmm. you put this on where? On you can put it on everywhere. You can mist your face, but I do uh -huh. tell patients after you do that, lock in that moisture with a little light moisture afterwards yeah. so you're getting kind of double the dose of the water. Oh, I think I put too much on. <laughs> I like now this Now you'll have idea. the glow. Okay, very good. People forget you need to wear sunscreen during your trips too. You were at high altitudes. I have lots of patients that are actually pilots and I talk sure. to them about being in the cockpit, being at high altitude. You're huh. getting better or you're getting more significant UV mm -hmm. exposure. Mm -hmm. especially if you're window seat which is my preference make sure that either during the flight keep it down unless there's something fun to yeah. actually look at keep the shade down or make sure that you're actually applying sunscreen before you get on that flight I've never thought of that and being on the plane so it, it makes total sense you're at higher altitude and don't forget neglected areas like neck chest and hands yes. I think you know women have a tendency to take care of our face but we forget these areas too. absolutely and it's speaking of the um, and also not and not just when you're flying either even just in general, right, during the winter season, Absolutely. put the sunblock on because even though you step outside and, okay, it feels cold because it's 60 degrees here mm -hmm. or, you know, 55, 60 degrees, the sun, the sun is still shining. It's still there. Even on cloudy days, we're still yeah. getting 80% of the sun exposure we'd get on a sunny day. So even though it's wintertime, shorter days, make sure that you're wearing your sunscreen. Good reminder. And what do we have back here? So finally, and this probably isn't going to be great news, but if you've got your favorite fragrances, especially if you're more eczema prone or sensitive skin mm. be careful about the mount you're using while you travel because like I mentioned you've got drier skin it causes little micro fractures in the surface and even if you may not be irritated by fragrance in general if you have dry skin and are prone to eczema or allergies of the skin you're more likely to induce that during drier winter months interesting okay so you may want to just kind of lay off it a little bit stay to sort mm -hmm. of natural things and unfragranced things if you are more prone and sensitive skin dr. Melanie Palm to the rest for information about uh, Art of Skin MD, hit up our website. We've got a link and we'll have a video recap as well. Nice to see you. Thank you. Happy um, holidays. Thank you. You too. All right. We're taking a quick break here on Good Morning San Diego and we'll be back. I love that fragrance though, by the way. Oh, it thank smells you. so good. <laughs> it's my secret. <laughs> Go ahead. Let me see.